It has been some time since our young players would have had the chance to show what they can do on the football field. With trials for the national under-20 team taking place this morning, technical director of the TTFA, Dion Lafocard, is impressed by the turnout and interest shown. Very, very overwhelming. We have close to, not here today because of the COVID, um, the COVID protocols, we have to be very careful. We can't bring all the players out one time. So we actually have um, four days where we're going to spread the, the screening out. But we have close to 400 players who have registered to play for the, to play for the Trent Tobago football on the on, um, team. Adding the pool of players has made it their job of selecting the final team a little harder. Well, from just talking to Coach Angus, it makes it very, 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 very difficult. And what, what is great about it, the players can push each other. So when he brings, it, brings the squad down, it's players fighting for positions in, in a nice way, but, but really trying to make the team so that augurs well for the development of these players and for the team and for the, the strength and the, and, the, and the type of team that you will get. And for the players themselves, according to Lafoucard, getting some kind of activity under their belt is a welcomed feeling. I could give you from the, from the horse's mouth. Um, quite a few of the players said they were just waiting for something to do. Some of them felt that, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be um, challenging to make, the, make a team like this. But they just wanted to get out. You know, being home for, for almost two years, you know, not playing football, no school football, no club football. It's been really challenging for them. So they are just eager to be out here. The trials will continue on Saturday, 18th December for players with the surnames beginning E to K. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.